So in this problem, we're told to find the most general antiderivative of the function. We're told to check your answer by differentiation, and then u c for the constant of the antiderivative. So f of u is equal to u to the fourth plus five times the square root of u over u squared. Let's just write that out first. So u to the fourth plus five times the square root of u over u squared. And so what we want to do here is simplify it so we can put it in a better form that we can actually solve. So we need to recognize here is that we have um, we have u to a variable, so like u to the x over u to the y, just a base to the same basis uh, dividing by each other. So this is basically equal to u to the x minus y. So in this case, we have u to the 4 over u squared. So u to the 4 over u squared is going to be equal to u to the 4 minus 2, so just u to the 2. So if we want to rewrite f of u and rewrite it as uh, u squared, then we got to do um, 5 times the square root of u over u squared. And we can rewrite um, square root of u as u to the 1 half because they're the same thing. So this is just u to the 1 half over u squared. So if we subtract them like we did the last one, u to the 1 half minus 2 is u to the minus 3 over 2. Uh, but we multiply it by 5, so it's just going to be 5 to the minus 3 over 2, or 5u to the minus 3 over 2. So plus 5u plus 5u to the minus 3 over 2. Then now we just need to find the antiderivative of this. So f of u, or uppercase f of u, is equal to the antiderivative of u squared. So you just got to add 1 our previous exponents can become our new one and then divide by 3 so u to the 3 over 3 plus and then we got to find the antiderivative of 5u to the minus 3 over 2 so it's just 5 times the antiderivative of u to the minus 3 over 2 so the antiderivative of u to the minus 3 over 2 is u to the minus 1 half because we add 1 so u to the minus 1 half divided by minus 1 half so this is basically just going to become, or the antiderivative of u to the minus 3 over 2 is minus 2 times u minus 1 half. And then we multiply it by 5. So it's just going to become minus 10 uh, u to the one half, uh, minus 1 half. So minus 10 times u to the minus 1 half. And then we always got to add plus c or plus some constant at the end, and we're representing it by c. So this is going to be equal to u to the u cubed over 3 minus 10 u to the minus 1 half plus c. So yeah, this is going to be the answer to this problem.